All right, good Thursday morning, everyone. It's a little after 10 o'clock here, about 10.15 when I'm recording this, and let's do a real fast video blog for you, show you what to expect, generally speaking, for the rest of the day. Today, of course, one of our big stories today, it is hot outside. It's also dry to start the day. Here's a look at the radar and satellite loop from this morning. Now, notice the big complex of rain and storms off to our west. This is not going to impact us. This is likely to kind of fall apart some as it continues moving down through eastern Illinois, parts of Indiana, and far western Ohio as well. Let me, uh, whoops, let me pause the uh, animation on this. And actually, I want to bring up the heat index values across the region. It is just stifling outside, much like yesterday. And there's just not much in the way of a breeze uh, this morning, so that's not helping matters. Right now, the heat index at the airport, 86 degrees. The air temperature is 82, but the dew point is 70. So that means the heat index is a few degrees higher. And we're going to see heat index values north of 90 pretty soon over the next uh, couple of hours. So it's another day to stay hydrated if you're going to be uh, out and about for any extended periods of time today. Now, what about the rain? Our, our threat for rain, kind of like yesterday, is fairly small for at least the next handful of hours. Here's a look at one of our models showing the uh, stuff way out to our west, again, kind of dying off some or you know, not really being impactful for us. More of a problem perhaps for Dayton, for Indianapolis, maybe as far east as Columbus, but even that is questionable. This is 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock this afternoon. Now this high-res model shows almost nothing, just real isolated stuff later on this afternoon into this evening. Here's another model. This is uh, hot off the presses, the, the latest NAM model. It has very little for the next few hours and then a little skinny band impacting some parts of the valley right around 4 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, that's this activity right here. Again, it's not much, but it does try to spark up a few isolated showers and storms. Then has perhaps a more significant little cluster trying to descend southeast uh, later this evening towards sunset. This is 7, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock this evening, and that may be when our rain threat is highest overall today uh, towards sunset this evening. Anything before then likely to be uh, fairly isolated in nature. Real quickly here, I want to show you the uh, severe weather outlook for today via the Storm Prediction Center, part of the National Weather Service. Uh, they have us in what we call the slight risk of severe weather today uh, in the yellow area there. Now, slight sounds like eh, not so bad, but that's kind of one of the middle categories of severe weather risks. Certainly not at the high end, but it's not at the real low end either. So even if activity is real isolated this afternoon into this evening, anything that does manage to go up could be heavy. Certainly some heavy rain with all the moisture in the air and the possibility of some damaging wind gusts. But again, it's, it's looking fairly isolated in nature as we stand right now at 1019 this morning. I'll of course have uh, much more detailed updates as I get into the studio this afternoon. In the meantime, make sure you're uh, following Jess Briganti on Twitter and Facebook and she'll have an update on the hour-long midday show coming up in less than two hours. Have a great rest of your Thursday, everyone.